Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadrax, and today I'm going to be showing you an application called Frameless. Frameless is a very, very simple web browser for iOS 8. It has a very minimal UI, uh, but instead of talking about it, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to go into Frameless, and you'll be taken to this when you go uh, when you open Frameless for the first time. So up here you'll have an address bar, you'll have a settings icon here on the left, and you'll have your keyboard. So if you want to go to a website, so let's say you want to go to ESPN, you have to type in ESPN.com. You have to type in the full URL because this doesn't work like a search engine. So if you just type in ESPN and press go, uh, you won't be taken anywhere. So make sure you type in the full URL. So I'm going to tap go now. And here I am taken to ESPN. Uh, you can see that now I can view my whole web page in full screen. Uh, if I move around, it's still going to stay in full screen. Uh, there are no bars at the top or at the bottom. Uh, no icons for sharing, for bookmarking, uh, for more tabs, for incognito mode, whatever. It's just that. It's very simple. Uh, and if you want to go to another website, uh, with three fingers, you're going to tap twice on the screen. And that's how you bring up uh, the address bar at the top. So if we go into the settings, you'll be able to see some of the other gestures that you can use. Uh, to bring up the address bar. One of them is shake the device, the other one is swipe up from the bottom, and the one I just used, which is tap with three fingers on the screen. Uh, if we go back, uh, you can also see here's another setting uh, to go back or forward, and that's you have to swipe left and right on the screen. So let's say I go back and um, I want to go back one, I just do that and swipe left, and I was on CNN earlier. So as for other features, that is it. It's very bare bones, but that's what makes this application great. Um, it doesn't have all these features, and it's not overwhelming. It's a very simple web browser, and it's full screen at all times, so that's great. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.